I'm great. I'm good. I'm freezing my ass off <laughs> here in uh, Amsterdam, but it's all good. Are we in Amsterdam still? We are, right? No. Oh, we're, we're in Holland. Hilversum. We're who? Hilversum. Oh, Hilversum. Yeah, Hilversum. Okay. okay. We're in Holland. Before we go into the music uh, yeah. you've released recently and you're about to release, uh, I'd like to go back to the beginning quickly. Do you yeah. remember the first album you ever bought? Ah, uh, yeah, Led Zeppelin IV, man. Okay. <laughs> and, and at that time, do you remember why you bought it? Oh, uh, just because, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, uh, I just like, you know, they were legends and uh, I liked classic rock, so, okay. you know, my, I had an older brother, so I uh, listened to a lot of that stuff and I just, uh, I don't know, I just love that, that record. So. In hindsight, what, what was it uh, well, about their sound or... It's like his voice, you know, okay. I mean, and, you know, those fucking guitar riffs, I mean, mm. it was just like, it just felt very, uh, it felt very, uh exciting in a way you know what i mean like there's sure. like you know i um the first big song i ever heard was uh bohemian rhapsody right like as far as a rock song because i grew up like um like hearing like opera and okay. and uh, musical theater stuff and elvis and stuff like that so i i didn't really know like that i didn't grow up listening to classic rock music until like a bit later okay and i you know and then I started like getting into it, and I, I remember it really affected me, you know, a lot. I think in, I, in what way? In what way? Just that I wanted to. Um, I just wanted to. Uh, I it just made me want to sing. I don't know, like you know, like a great singer to me. When I hear a great singer, it, it make it has always made me want to sing. Okay. You know, like it's like like sometimes. I mean, I feel like. Uh, you know, it's really weird. I just had a memory that, like, when I was in L.A. and I was, like, just being a writer, I remember um, Fits and the Tantrums hadn't, hadn't blown up yet, and they were just, like, this, like, smaller band from L.A., mm -hmm. and I remember going to see them at this tiny place, and I didn't know who they were, but uh, Noelle from that band, um, you know, she's a great singer, she really... And I remember, like, for the first time in a while, like, when she was singing, I, it just made me want to sing again. Okay. And I was like... Uh, and I, I just hadn't really, I wasn't thinking about, you know, singing that much. Like, I would just sing, right. sing the songs I wrote for, like, other people. But, yeah, it's just like, Robert Plant is definitely one of those singers that made me want to just fucking wail out, you know. You mentioned opera, and I read somewhere that your mother yeah. was a singer as well. Yeah, she was. She, um, you know, she didn't uh, go professional, but she had sang at Carnegie Hall okay. several times. Okay. And, um, and she, uh, she studied opera. Um, so yeah, she uh, she never talked about wanting, you know, missing that or wanting. But okay. I think she actually did would have liked to have seen what would have happened. But she, mm -hmm. uh, she just wasn't that kind of person to like speak like that. She so were you encouraged to, to pursue music in that sense? Then? Mm -mm. No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> I was encouraged to be a doctor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I you know, my uh, my family didn't do that kind of thing. You know, okay. uh, like they didn't. They didn't, that didn't compute, you know? Sure. So I just like, I felt like uh, I didn't know where to begin, you mm -hmm. know? And then my mom passed away when I was a teenager and I, I was like, you know what? I I want to do something that I love with my life, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I can't wait to get out of school. Like, <laughs> I've ne I'm, you know, I never liked school. It's like, what am I going to do? Stay in school sure. for an extra 10 years? <laughs> because. Hey, let's be, you know, I mean, it seems preposterous. And, yeah. So, but, you know, I also, you know, I was raised in the whole, like, you know, you have to make money and be, okay. you know, uh, secure and all that. <laughs> safe. I'm not safe. Okay. I'm not, you know, I'm just not a, I'm not safe. <laughs> but it, 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 in, in that sense, obviously going into music, it, it sounds like a risk. So, so. Did, did you have confidence in what you were doing? Did you know you could sing? I knew I could sing. I think I, you know, I think like anybody does. I think I think in the early days I thought I was going to open my mouth and it was going to be like, you know, like sign right here, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. like, and then you know, I, I call it the Jim Morrison phase. You know what I mean? Like I think a lot of like young artists go through that where they just think they're going to like be like, yeah, I just uh, sit here and wait until mm -hmm. someone offers me a record deal. <laughs> you know, like you get ready. and then when like that doesn't happen you're like you suddenly go through like the you know the feel sorry for yourself mode I think you know 
And, uh, when did this start, the, the feeling sorry for yourself period? Oh gosh. What, was mean, that during the albums or, or the, the first two albums? No, it, it, was, it was right before. Okay. I think when I got my first record deal, um, uh, I was like, all right, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, um, I'm not crazy. <laughs> and then like, because you know, I think sometimes you think when before, and, and you shouldn't need validation. Like these sure. days, people don't like, kids don't need validation. They're just like, they throw it on fucking YouTube and then they're like, you know, if like, a bunch of people hit it, they're like, yeah, I rule. <laughs> you know, they can get instant sure. feedback, but, but like, I, I didn't have that then, and it was just like, um, so you just like, you know, it's just like a fart in the wind, basically. You're just like, kind of like, it's gone. <laughs> like, it's just in the ether, you know? Sure. But after, after those two albums, uh, and, and especially around 2004, 2007, was it disappointing that it wasn't t taking off, or...? Um, around what year was that? Uh, the 2005, uh, after, after you released your second album. Oh yeah, you know, like yeah. Um, again, I, I, there was no. Uh, it was an indie thing, you know. Mm. I think um, I, I was. Uh, I'm. Sh I know I was frustrated for sure, but I mm -hmm. just like it, there was nothing. Like I didn't really know uh, where to go. I just kept. I just kept going, you know. Okay. Like and and I think you know, for what it's worth, um, you know, the fans that I had accumulated, like mm. you know, the the meager fans but they were real um really kept me going you know mm -hmm. and that's why I, like fans are the most important part of everything for me like the the people who listen to your music they, they're everything they mean everything they should be treated with uh the utmost respect and care mm -hmm. i think because that's those are the people like the people that came up to me like over the years and just were like to <laughs> they're mm -hmm. the ones that like really made me stick with it you know and that i owe my whole shit to them so you know, and I, I got enough of that, I think, you know, uh, a small, uh, you know, diet of it, but mm. it was enough to, like, really change, change, uh, you know, change the chemistry to make me, like, keep going and all that shit, you know, so I, I feel, uh, I feel like, you know, and I kept pushing myself to write songs. Songs have always been very important to me as well, like, I think, like, songs are everything, whether I'm a writer or whether I'm going to sing them, you know, like, and, and you touched upon something interesting because uh, this this whole songwriting obviously you started early on and then you mentioned this connection with the fans so so yeah what is it like to to make something up in your mind and have people other people you don't know connect with it well what 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 does that tell you about the song uh it's a deep deep feeling you know it's it's uh one of the best mm -hmm. and, and because you know you have to understand that uh and I know you do, that you write hundreds of songs that no one will ever hear. Mm -hmm. Hundreds, and it's not just like, you know, and you put a lot into them. You put it, sometimes as much or more into them as than sure. the ones that actually sure. do something, you know, like, and, uh, and so when you, and, and when you deal in volume of songs, when you just keep, uh, you know, churning them out, if you will, it starts to, you know, you just, uh, for me, I just like, I don't, I don't linger too long on, the song you know mm. like I it, because in my opinion like you know if I write a hit song I have to write another hit song okay. if I don't write a hit song I have to write another song okay. <laughs> like I just okay. like there's no like there's no like hey I wrote a great song I think I'll just live on that for the rest of my life <laughs> so this is a self-imposed pressure that comes out yeah and and you know and then at the same time you know it's also helped me like you know ease up on the it's I still feel pressure don't get okay. it wrong okay okay I still feel pressure. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I, I just try to like. I think my way of lessening the pressure is just to like to keep writing, you know, because mm -hmm. I feel like it's just a, it's it's a thing that like that helps assuage the uh, <laughs> the uh, the feelings of anxiety. Mm -hmm. And, and where where do the songs then come? If if you take uh, the Death Valley EP, where, yeah. where do these songs come from? Are, are they taken from your own life? And, and yes, very much yeah. so. I mean, you know, there are songs that are uh, <sighs> there are sometimes songs that are like a um, a mashup of like some different feelings that have happened, or, yeah. or you know, or like someone else's thing infused with my thing. Um, but uh, a lot of times, it, it gets more and more personal okay. for me, you know, and. Um, I, I, this this particular uh, group of songs, even some of the songs you know that are on the next record, like were from like this difficult time because I, I had a um, my professional and my personal life were uh, in turmoil, 
at the time. So I, you know, it was, and they were, and almost both in the same way, where it was just like, something's wrong here, you know? Like, I don't feel good about this kind of thing, you know? What was happening? Or, or? Well, my, uh, my girlfriend at the time, um, I didn't know, but she was like, interested in somebody else, but I, I didn't even know it at the time. All I knew, and that wasn't even like a, the huge issue, it's more like kind of like I just wasn't getting what I needed, you sure. know. And, and you know, I've been on that side, the other side of things, like, I, you know, I'm not some saint, so sure, sure. like, um, so I, uh, I understand that, but I was like, you know, I, I was, I thought this, I thought it was a big one, you know, I thought it was the, the one possibly, so. Okay. Um, you know, and it was a very comp we had a very complicated relationship. Um, she was definitely amused and all that stuff uh, in a good way and a bad way. Uh, but I, I uh, and then my record label, uh, we were going. Uh, everybody was getting replaced at the label. You know that that typical story. But I had spent, yeah. you know, I, I spent two extra years making a record that I was ready to put out two years before okay. and you know and it was just like it, it was just like uh, it was messy and I was mm -hmm. I think I was disappointed in myself for like having as much experience as I did and 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 letting that happen but like at the same time I gotta like just it's a very difficult mm -hmm. uh, business you sure, know sure. so you just gotta like keep going and there's no you know there's no use in like you know like regret and bitterness and all that stuff because mm -hmm. it, it really just fucks you up in the end you know like i'd rather just move on in, in that sense then does helping songs uh, or, or writing songs about it does that help is it, is it like cathartic yeah thing of, of course it is and and you know and i think that like uh art comes out of life you know mm -hmm. it's like that's you can't you can't live in a bubble and 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 you know uh I mean, you can. Some people are just, you know, comes. But like, I feel like, um, I feel like it. It's good for me to have like good experiences and bad experiences. Sure. Yeah.